before beginning your first drawing in 2020, or even if you're a longtime user of 2020, I recommend that you take a moment and set your personal design preferences. Design preferences can be found under File in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. To the left of that, as we roll down the menu, you'll see that Preferences is listed right in the middle. Now, what are preferences? Preferences are defaults. Whatever you set in Preferences will automatically be applied to every drawing from now on. So when I make changes to my preferences, keep in mind that every drawing from now on will incorporate the changes that I have made. At the bottom of the list, you'll see an item called Walls and Construction Lines. It's actually the second from the bottom. And if I click on that, this will open up a menu that discusses or talks about walls. On the right-hand side, you'll see things such as wall thickness, wall construction line thickness, and even wall height and wall mounted item alignment. Well, the two most important to you are probably the wall height and the wall mounted item. On the left-hand side, under wall height, it says 96 inches. Now, that's a standard wall height, but maybe you live or work in a community where the standard walls are 108 and most of the drawings you work in are 108 inches. Well, if that's the case, every time you draw a kitchen, you want your walls to be set at 108 automatically. So, we can go to Wall Height, highlight this, type in 108, and when I click Apply, my walls will automatically start out at 108 inches in height. For your wall mounted item alignment, right now 2020 is set as a default to assume that you're using a 30 inch high wall cabinet. But let's say in your kitchens that you typically use 36s or maybe 42 inch high wall cabinets. Well, if you're a designer that, t that tends to use 42s more than 30s, you'll come to wall mounted item alignment, you will highlight the 84, you'll type in 96, and you'll click apply. One final feature I want to mention while we're here. There's a feature under wall construction lines called draw walls using 90 degree angles. That comes standard with a check mark next to it, which means every time you draw a wall in 2020, it automatically wants to draw clockwise and snap your angles in at 90 degrees. If you wanted to change the angle, you'd have to use the tab key or right click on your mouse and rotate the walls manually. Well, 2020 has a function built in that I like to call point and type. And in order for point to type to work, we need to deactivate the check mark, and we do so by clicking on it. And then we would click OK on the screen. And what that will do for you is, is from this point forward, you'll be able to click anywhere on the screen, move your mouse any direction, and the wall will move that direction first. It doesn't lock into 90 degrees automatically. So if you wanted the wall to move to the right, you simply point to the right, and on your keyboard, type the dimension. You want it to move up, you point up, you type the dimension. That's why I call it point and type. Once you set the preferences, to the settings that you like, it will make your drawings much easier.